Good morning, all. Welcome you all for the class. And uh, I hope that you have revised the concepts well, so that you understand the further concept. And you all have attempted the test, right? If not, please after the session kindly attend the test for those who have not yet done the test. Okay? So we begin here with little further. Right, we have learned the factorization. Right, factor how to find the factors of numbers, and now we have to go further with finding common factors. Now, when I talk about common factor, right, so naturally there has to be more than one. I hope it's clear to you. When I talk about something common. Actually, it has to be more than one. If I talk about myself, like okay, this is my hobby. I like to read. Okay, what about you? And then when you say yes, even I like to read it. Then we say that oh, we both have common hobby, isn't it? So when we talk about something common, we talk about more than one number. Is the number this? So here. We talk about the common factors and common multiples. Let's see how to do it. Okay, there are more than one method to find it out. The common factors and common multiples. First, we will go for finding common factors. Right? Let's see how to find it out. Okay, and then we move on for common multiples. Okay, the first method is using the listing method for both. That is listing method. What to list? We have to list out all the factors of given numbers, and then we have to look for the common factor. And out of this common factors, there will be the biggest one, the largest one, or the highest one. Okay, and we call that factor as highest common factor. In short, we are going to use a word as H C. F. Okay, what is mean by HCF? That is highest common factors of given numbers. It is in plural now, right? So the first method we are going to follow is a listing method. Okay, listing method is very simple. That means you have to find out all the factors. Remember two methods. Finding all the factors and prime factorization. So we are going to use both the method. Here in listing method, we are going to use all the factors. Okay. Say suppose I am taking the example of twelve and sixteen. Fine. So factors of twelve. So let's write down factors of twelve. Okay. When I talk about factors of twelve, so you remember twelve comes in which table? So how to go with it? Okay, don't start with your own table and don't be in hurry to finish it fast. Okay, twelve. Okay, so twelve comes starting with one. So one twelve ra, then two, two six ra, then three, three four ra. So we get all because now we are one after the other. We give a two and four ra da, or ye four yahan pe a chuka hai. So we know that okay, that's all. These are the enough factors. No, not more than this. Okay, so the factors of twelve are. One, two, three, four, six, and twelve. Fine. Okay. Now let's go for sixteen. So factors of sixteen are similarly. Sixteen can be written as one sixteen ra, two eight ra, and then four four ra. Isn't it? You have. These factors so one, two, four, eight, sixteen. Okay, and now what is going to be done? What you have to do? You have to find out the common factors. And if you don't want to write the whole statement here, like these two words, you can write down this way also. Common factors. C dot F. So it is understood. It is allowed. Okay. So common factors. Which are the common factors now? Underline it. One is common, two is common, 
four is coming. Right. So let's list on one, two, and four. Out of this, which is the largest factor or the highest factor? So therefore, HCF is equal to which is the largest one? Right? Four. And hence we can say HCF of 12 and 16 is 4. I hope this is clear. Yes. You forgot to mention the number itself. The number itself is always a factor. I hope you remember those statements I taught you. So this is the method. This is called listing method. Fine. I would be sending the notes. So don't worry about the return part. But do follow the method once you get it. And using that only you do the sums. Right. Okay. So this is called listing method to find HCF. Fine. Now, I'll go with another method which I told you by prime factorization method. Right? We did prime factorization also. So now, we find out the prime factors of 12 and 16. I'll do it here. What are the prime factors of 12? Now, 12 could be written as, just now we saw 2, 6. And 6 can be written as 2, 3. Isn't it? So we understand that. The factors of 12. Now, prime factorization could, should always be with multiply. Now, please, you should not get confused with this. When factors are list, you can comma use the two numbers. Ke beech mein. But when prime factorization is so it is in the form of product. You can multiply all the prime numbers. If you multiply them, you multiply them, then you have to get your number. Milna so, please remember. So, 2 into 2 into 3. Right? And 16 ka kya hai? Hamne kya tha? 4, 4 ka 16. Or 4 kya hota hai? So 2, 2 za hota hai. So 2 no 4 ka 2, 2 za likha hai. So hama kya common mil ra hai? I mean, so what are the factors? 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. This is the prime factorization. I hope you all have practiced factors and prime factorization. I have given you the worksheet also. So kindly understand it. Do the sums and please try to understand the concept because this is one of the important ones. Now you will be using this in your further classes continuously. Okay. Maybe somebody not ask you finding that here, but uh level be kind of thing is still related after questions I and you have to use this concept. Fine. So this is one of the important concepts. So pay attention and do practice. Nothing could be done in one or two sums. Aapne socha ke, okay, ha samaj mein aagya. Aise nahi hoga. You need to practice it. Aapko bahut sare sum solve karne Right? Because when you were in you know nursery class, how many times have A likhao ga? How many times have B likhao ga? Did you ever imagine? I think more than thousand times. Isn't it? Tab aapke dhamaag mein A, B, C, D full set ho ga. Isn't it? So, same way, these are your basic concepts now. Is level pe. Ye jise aapke alphabet set ho, ye saare mathematical concepts aapke basic hai. So, you need to practice. As many sums you do it, you will have, you know, stronger memory. The thing you practice, karoge, aapka mind strongly is topical. Fine. So, now what to do? We did it. The prime factorization. Right? Now, list out the common. Underline the name. Okay. And all the other one. Now, they say, iske baas 3 hai. Or iske baas 2, 2 hai. Iske baas kuch bhi common hai. And then, HCF is equal to 2 into 2. Yang ke HCF is equal to 4. Again, same answer. Fine. So, this is called listing method. This is called prime factorization method. Fine. Maximum times, like, you know, this is just for the initial level. Baki hum maximum isi se use karenge. And yes, once you are confident, once you learn it, this is like your in mind. You can find out orally also. If you are good with tables, I had told you before. If you are good with tables, you can quickly find it out. Okay. This comes, these numbers are coming in which tables? Okay. Maybe one table. Okay. Two tables, four tables. None other than four, twelve, and sixteen together. Together. They come in the highest number is four. And hence it's here is four. So this is more of oral work, which you will be doing it later on. Means once you learn the concept at the higher level. So but practicing more of this. So do as per the exercise instruction in our NCRT textbook and follow the method. Right? So, I go with the LCM now. What is LCM? Could you guess it? What is it? It is. Okay. It is called lowest common multiple. 
लोएस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल का मतलब क्या हुआ फर्स्ट मल्टीपल यू ऑल नो जो दो नंबर्स को मल्टीप्लाई करके जो फाइनल आंसर मिलता है दैट इज एल सी मल्टीपल अच्छा कॉमन तो जो दो नंबर का मल्टीपल है कॉमन है दोनों के बीच में कॉमन है ओके लीस्ट यानी कि छोटा सबसे छोटा कॉमन मल्टीपल ओके और यहाँ पे भी हम टेबल्स को यूज करेंगे सो फर्स्ट विल डू विदिस्टिंग मैथड एंड देन वी विल फॉलो द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मैथड ठीक है पर यहाँ अलग क्या है जब हमें मल्टीपल्स फाइंड करने हैं ओके आई एम टेकिंग द सेम क्वेश्चन फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग तो क्या अलग करना है हमें लेट्स सी ओके हमें अभी क्या फाइंड करना है यहां पे एलसीएम फाइंड करना है सो व्हाट आर वी सपोज्ड टू डू हियर लेट्स चेक इट मल्टीपल्स मल्टीपल्स
हमें यहाँ पे भी आंसर मिल जाता है एल सी एम एच फॉर थ्री सेम आंसर यस वी गॉट इट एल सी एम एच फॉर थ्री आई होप यू एंडरस्टैंड यस क्विकली हैव अ ग्लैंस ऑफ इट कैसे किया है एंड स्पेशली दिस पार्ट आई होप एवरी वन इज अंडरस्टैंड कुछ भी डाउट हो यू कैन टाइप इट हियर सो दैट आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू फर्दर इफ एनी कंफ्यूजन इज हियर ओके मोर ऑफ यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दीज कॉन्सेप्ट अभी शायद देख के आपको बहुत आसान लगेगा बट यू चिल्ड्रन सो क्विकली हैव अ ग्लैंस मल्टीपल्स के लिए हमें यहाँ पे क्या करना है सेम मैथड से फैक्टराइजेशन करना पड़ेगा आपको कोई भी मैथड आप वर्टिकल मैथड भी ले सकते हो या जैसे मैंने कहा रहा वैसे स्प्लिटिंग मैथड भी कर सकते हो ओके फिर एच सी एफ इज द कॉमन वन एंड एल सी एम इज कॉमन इन टू अनकॉमन फैक्टर सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू ओके एज आई टोल यू दिस इज मोर ऑफ योर मेंटल वर्क जो लिस्टिंग मैथड मैं बता रही हूँ वो मेंटल वर्क है मतलब मेंटली जैसे आप इफ यूर गुड इन टेबल्स यू कैन डू इट योर सेल्फ फाइन एंड फर्दर वी मे मूव ऑन विथ वन मोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस टाइप तो आपको समझना है एग्जैक्टली विद प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मीन्स हाउ विल बी गो हेड बट उसके पहले टू फॉर सॉल्विंग द सम्स यू शुड नो हाउ टू डू प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन सो प्लीज 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 इट्स रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू दट प्लीज लर्न द प्रीवियस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड देन मूव ऑन टू दिस ओके सो आई गोट वन मोर क्वेश्चन And that's why you remember. I always used to tell you, even your parents pushing you, that you have tables. Do it. You have to do it well. So, until you don't do the tables, you won't have clarity. Again, you can't do this faster, na? Every time you have to do tables. Okay? Uh, anyone, any doubt? Then please write down the specific doubt. Yeah, so I am taking another example. Take you. <coughs> so you can pay attention to that. Okay? I think somebody asked a question. You are having doubt? Then let's do it. And still, you have the doubt? Then you can WhatsApp me. Okay, I'll take down the another question as fifty-six and eighty-four. Okay, we are given with two numbers, fifty-six and eighty-four. We have to factorize it. Okay, now again, if it comes to fifty-six, I know I'm good with tables. I know it is seven eights are fifty-six. Okay, so eight sevens are fifty-six. Eight is what? Okay. Please, I just want you to learn this pattern. How I did with the oral work. Okay, थोड़ा सा अपने दिमाग पे स्ट्रेस करके यू मेड दिस हैबिट. Because what I have observed, this is the common method. But बच्चे क्या करते हैं? Means from your side. In hurry, sometimes you know it. And you get like this also. Hurriedness. थोड़ी सी carelessness. Okay, so if the numbers are smaller, you, I said that you avoid it and do this. Way. Okay, because you don't have any rules. You got my mistake? Yes, many. Here, what have I written? Four written. And children do this many a times. They do it. They forget. Okay, so one thing you have to remember is the concept. Okay, which is very common. When you do it in daily language, you will remember it. Suppose you have a small chocolate, a Cadbury bar. कि छोटा वाला है आपके पास तो मम्मी ने कहा कि ओके यू शेयर आप लोग घर पे चार हो आपके कजिन भी आए हुए आप लोग चार जन हो वुड विल यू गेट तो जो छोटा वाला कैडबरी बार है सपोज उसमें एट पीसीज है यू ऑल विल गेट टू 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 राइट बट सपोज यू हैव कर बिग चॉकलेट बार तब क्या होगा आपको टू टू पीस दे दिया आपके भैया ने तो आप क्या कहोगे ओ माई शेयर आई वॉन्ट द बिग वन इज इन डेट तो जब बड़ा है तो नेचुरली द डिविजन भी उसका जो पार्ट होगा वो बड़ा होगा राइट right? तो जिस नंबर से आप बड़े नंबर को डिवाइड करते हो आपको पता है कि कितने पार्ट्स आपको मिलने चाहिए जस्ट गिविंग द एग्जांपल, जैसे कि मैं 56 कर रही हूँ 56 को मैं जब टू से डिवाइड करती हूँ तो नेचुरली उसका हाफ है तो सपोज मैंने यहाँ पे ट्वेंटी लिखा तो मुझे स्ट्राइक होना चाहिए सिक्स से भाई पीछे सिक्स का हाफ हमेशा थ्री होता है ओके okay, या तो ये 16 बन गया तो 8 होता है तो लेट मी चेक इट सो योर डिविजन हैज टू बी परफेक्ट ओके अगर लक्ष्मी नो कमेंट्स प्लीज इफ आई डिवाइड बाय 4 ओके तो मुझे 24 नहीं मिल सकता है 
कॉमन सेंस थर्टी सिक्स है ओके राउंड अप करोगे तो सिक्सटी के बाजू में आएगा और सिक्सटी के चार पार्ट आपने किए तो फिफ्टीन होते हैं एक पार्ट में पंद्रह ही मिलते हैं ओके okay, तो फिर ये चौबीस इसका मतलब यहाँ तो गलत ही है क्योंकि जब बढ़ाते हैं तब फिफ्टीन मिल रहे हैं तो कम पे कहा से मिलेगा तो ओरल वर्क प्लीज आप सिर्फ पेन एंड पेपर वाली हैबिट मत रखिए आई रिक्वेस्ट यू दर यू लर्न इट ओरली ठीक है स्टार्ट करने से पहले देखिए यहाँ ये मैं ओरली कर सकता हूँ ठीक है यू ट्राई प्लीज ओके सो लेट्स गो अहेड विथ एटी फोर अब जैसे आपको नहीं आता है देन ओके नो प्रॉब्लम टू सो मैंने कहा था ना हाफ searching for the answers and it will take time and just one request be alert okay maths cannot be done in sleeping mode ha ho sakta hai jab aapka mind bahut zyada sharp ho jaye you're good with the table aur yahan pe ek hi request hai three time mil raha hai table run kar lijiye okay aapke liye ek dusra bhi work hai aap log tables to learn karte ho theek hai na sabko compulsorily tables hai but the challenge is for you okay The challenge is you have to write half table. किसी को आता है कभी सुना भी है half का table, you know? Half table, yes, you are listening me correctly. And how to write on the half table? This is the task for you. Let's think on it and see that whether you are able to write it or not. Okay? So coming back to this factorization, and if you want to play the game, do it like this. Finding the factors, who will tell it faster? See, these are all your mind exercises. If you are good with tables, math is quite easy for you. 
ओके एंड यू कॉन्ट से आई डोंट लाइक इट हमने पहले भी बताया वी कॉन्ट लीव विदाउट नंबर्स राइट समी से ओ आई हेट मैथ्स यू कैन बट कैन यू लीव मैथ्स यू विल I am not talking leaving maths means not studying maths. Leaving maths means not using math in daily life, which is impossible, isn't it? Because everywhere, every single minute, hello, minute itself is what math, isn't it? Time, food, proportion, all, all, all maths, isn't it? So pay attention, learn it, and quickly one more example. You want to take it? I'll take bit difficult numbers, bit difficult numbers. So let's go and have one more style of doing this sum. We will be using there is one more for division method also, but I want you to learn this two only. And there is later on we go with common way, common factor method. But first learn this. Have patience, follow it properly, and then do it. Okay. So let's take the example as the seventy five and hundred. Okay. So seventy-five. Looking itself, odd number. Odd number means I will not go with two, right? Okay. Any table side number, you can go with the. And looking at the number again, you can say yes. It comes in five table. True. Seven plus five, twelve. Twelve. That means it comes in three table. Okay. Three table and five table means three fives are fifteen ka table. अब समझ में आया आपको कैसे सोचना है और ये लिख के तो आप सब कर लोगे मुझे पता है यू विल प्रैक्टिस यू आर गुड किड्स यू विल प्रैक्टिस इट बट आई वांट टू लर्न इट ओरली क्विक मेंटली विदाउट पेन एंड पेपर वी कैन डू दिस सम एंड वी कैन आंसर इट आर यू गेटिंग इट मैंने क्या किया फिर से बता रही हूं देख सुन ना टू ऑड नंबर यहां पे ऑड नंबर है सो वी कांट गो विद टू ओके नेक्स्ट इज 3 7 प्लस 5 12 यस आई कैन गो विद 3 ओके देन लास्ट डिजिट इज 5 आई कैन गो विद 5 ओके व्हेन आई गो विद 3 And when I go with five, that means always three fives are fifteen. It is also divisible by fifteen. This is what I wanted to discuss with you. Along with this concept, learn the basic concepts. Okay. So what does it say? When two factors are known to you, when two factors, suppose I'm taking a number is a. Okay. A number has two factor b and c. Okay, then b multiplied by c is also a factor of a given number. For example, जैसे हमने यहाँ लिया है seventy five. तो इसका एक factor क्या है three? एक factor क्या है five? तो three five जा fifteen is also a factor of seventy five. I hope it is clear to you. Please, please, please remember that. What did What did I say? Can I repeat that once? When Just understand with the example that would be easier for you. Seventy-five has three and five has a as a factor. Three into five fifteen is also a factor. मतलब कि एक दो जो जब छोटे फैक्टर नंबर्स हैं उसको वो फैक्टर्स हैं तो उन दोनों का प्रोडक्ट भी फैक्टर होगा. Only difference is what this is. These are prime numbers. It's a composite number, but it is a factor. Okay. So fifteen का table. Yes. Quick, quick, quick. Fifteen. Fives are seventy prime, and I don't want fifteen to be written. I want all prime factors, and hence I remove this fifteen, and I write this as three into five into five. Got it? Yes. Easy to think like this. Okay, hundred. If you go like this, it's your way. Hundred. Can I write it as ten tens? Ah, how do you write ten tens? Ah, two fives are two fives are. So that means two twos, two fives. So that means two into two into five into five. Is it clear? Clear, everyone? Got it? Understood? How to think? Children, my focus is always. That's why I, you know, go on repeating some few things for you. If you watch the lesson, you can count it. Oh my God, how many times this sentence was spoken by Ma'am today? Why? So that it fixes in your mind. And here we are, and more my concept more on, you know, oral work also. आप अपने दिमाग को थोड़ी सी तकलीफ दीजिए, थोड़ी सी तकलीफ दे, थोड़ा सा सोचना है, and you know you will master that concept. बस interest लेना है, ठीक है? आप मुंह बना के ऐसे कुछ खाना भी दोगे ना, मम्मी ने अच्छा सा बनाया है, 
बट आप सोच के खाओगे ना यार यार बेकार खाना है बेकार यू नेवर लाइक इट बहुत बढ़िया बना होगा तो फिर जब खाने के बाद पता चलता है वो अच्छा है तो पहले यदि जिद करके थाली छोड़ दी होगी तो क्या होता यू मस्ट लॉस्ट इट सो सेम वे मैथ है दिखने में थोड़ा सा नापसंद हो सकता है बट इफ यू डू इट यू विल रियली एंजॉय एंड इट्स अ गुड एक्सरसाइज टू योर ब्रेन टू इट विल शार्पन योर ब्रेन आप पेंसिल शार्प करते हो ना खत्म हो जाएगी वो सोच के बैठे रहते हो नहीं बिकॉज यू नॉट यूज इट ये उसका यूज है उसी तरीके से आपके माइंड को शार्पन करने के लिए पर वो पेंसिल जैसे घिस नहीं जाएगा और बढ़िया हो जाएगा एंड फॉर दैट यू नीड एक्सरसाइज ठीक है ना एंड दिस एक्सरसाइज इज नथिंग बट मैथ इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एक्सरसाइज फॉर यूर ब्रेन फाइन सो गो हेड विद इट डू इट एंड यू कैन लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट फास्ट और सो क्विक कम ऑन कॉमन कॉमन So common factor that is X C F. We put the dot. We don't put the dot. It's okay. Five five and hence X C F is equal to five five dot twenty. Fine. And now we go for L C M. What is L C M? Common into uncommon. What is uncommon? Let's take it. यहाँ पे ये three बचे हुए हैं. यहाँ पे ये two into two बचा हुआ है. अब आपने लिखा ऐसे. एक और important Quick here, we are winding up the session. Quick. अब यहाँ देखिए. अब आप क्या करोगे पता है? आपके हिसाब से. आप पहले 25 फ्रीज़ा करोगे. फिर वो आएगा 75, 75 टूज़ा. ठीक है. मुझे ऐसे नहीं आता है. मुझे एक चीज़ आती है. I know जब भी भी five और twos मिलेंगे. मतलब कि five के टेबल वाला कोई भी नंबर मिलेगा और two मिलेगा. Multiplication में हमेशा वो zero देता है मुझे. कैसे? So I'll go like this. Jump. Twenty-five twos are twenty-five are double. Fifty. Fifty twos are hundred. Hundred threes are three hundred. Remember chapter one. Arranging the numbers. That's what. And that will give you orally. You don't have to do multiply here. What is seventy-five fours are? Why to waste my time? Got it? So how did I do? Whenever it is multiples of fives and twos. Multiple of five. पता है ना जो five के tables में आते हैं वो. तो कभी भी उसको और आप टू के लेंगे टू फोर सिक्स एट हमेशा आपको जीरो मिल जाएगा मतलब कि फिफ्टी सिक्सटी हंड्रेड ऐसा आंसर मिलेगा एंड जब ऐसा आंसर मिलता है तो क्या हो जाता है हमारा मल्टीप्लीकेशन इजी हो जाता है हम ओरली भी कर सकते हो जीरो को साइड में फाइन सो दिस आर द मेथड्स यू हैव टू सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस जल्दबाजी मत करना जब मेरी वर्कशीट आ जाए आपके पास उसके बाद ही सॉल्व करना समझ सो दिल यू अंडरस्टैंड द मेथड ओके So please, I hope you have understood. Those who missed it, watch it, revise it, understand it. Still, any doubt? WhatsApp. Fine. I'm sending you the attendance sheet in WhatsApp group. Kindly fill the attendance sheet. Those who watch me later also, please ask your friends to watch it. There are many children who are not in contact, and it's so difficult for me to, you know, be in touch with them. So please, 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 आप के ग्रुप में भी डाल दीजिए. सम ऑफ यू जो भी फर्स्ट डाले वो डोंट रिपीटेड दैट काइंडली अटेंड द क्लास लेटर ऑन ऑल्सो प्लीज इन्फॉर्म दैम बहुत सारे जिनको पता नहीं होता उनको लगता है क्लास चली गई तो उनको बोलिए कि यूट्यूब में आप कभी भी आप जाके देख सकते हैं सो काइंडली वॉच इट एंड यू विल डू द सम्स लेटर ऑन वन साइड सेंड यू दर्क शीट ओके थैंक यू चिल्ड्रेन थैंक यू वेरी मच वी एंड अपर सेशन